used for echo. Okay, so yeah, if you read Revelation chapter five, we are given the kingdom, but the thing is, we're given the kingdom because of the Son of Man. You, you, you ran, of okay, man. So what does Daniel 7 have to do with anything then? Because I just showed you it's talking about the Holy Supreme Nation, they. People, not a person, not a person. Okay, You're, you ran to Daniel 7. This has nothing to do with the... So, so, the, so the kingdom, when it says the kingdom and the dominion is be given to him, is that the is that the saints the most higher individual person? It's not a, it's not about an individual person. It's it's literally about it's um it's given to the holy supreme nation, right? The everlasting kingdom and all the rulers will obey. This is talking about the nation of Israel. No, it is not. Here, let's read it together because you're 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 reading that into the text. Okay. Verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, with the clouds of heaven, there came like one like a son of man. He came to the ancient of days and was presented before him. And to him was given dominion, a glory, and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom one that shall not be destroyed. Okay? Notice, notice those words being used there. Him. A him unto a person. Yeah. The saints again. Read it again. Yeah, verses thirteen through fourteen. I saw in the night visions, and behold, with the clouds of heaven there came one like the Son of Man, and he and he came to the Ancient of Days, and was presented before him. And to him was given a dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. Remember, the serve word is is pelach, yeah. pelach, worship to God alone. Okay. His dominion was an everlasting yeah, well, dominion. What was given? What? what was given? Dominion, a glory, and it a kingdom. was given in the past, yeah? Yeah, the, the Father eternally loves the Son. All right, so why, why, but I thought he was God. He doesn't need to be given anything. Well, he says, all authority on heaven and earth has been given to me in somewhere in John, but. But the father, yeah, yeah, the, the father eternally generates the son. This doesn't prove your point in any. I didn't any ask way. if he eternally. No, 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 I didn't ask if he eternally generates the son. Do you believe Jesus was the one that created the kingdom in the first place? <laughs> yes, the holy triune God works with 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 with. Yeah, so with, so with why does he need? Others. That's it. So why does he need to be given anything? It already belongs to him. Well, that's because God is triune, and the Father eternally loves the Son. God is not trying, and I told you I can we can go to But God. he's the one that free. I didn't ask if he no, I Jesus, didn't ask you Jesus if he was trying to baptize every son of the Father, so he's, no, he's, he's, he's running away from the question. No, I'm not. He's running away from the question. No, at some point, first of all, Virgil, first of all, at some point, you can't say it's eternally because God at some point he gave something to the Son. So it's not eternally. There was a point in time where that shit took place. That's number one. Well, number you don't two, understand Trinitarian with the things, the kingdom of the Father has primacy. The acts, acts. If you interrupt one more time, if you interrupt one more time, I'm going to call that doctor Holy Spirit. And his name is Abu Muhammad. You should call upon the Holy Spirit. You need salvation. I'll pray Hail Mary for you. All right, I'm going to call him. He's the doctor. He fixes now. people with the psychology, with psychological problems. Anyway. Here. So, X, the question is simple. Was given, was given entails at some point of time. So it's not eternal. It's, it's, it's eternal. Number in one. John, let me read you in context. In John chapter 10. Okay. Verse so can you be, okay, so. So what does was given mean? It's eternally given. Like the Father eternally generates the Son. What does it say eternally given? Eternally? Well, wait, I don't believe no. this is scriptura. Yes, so. No, no, no. But so you're just in, so you're interpreting something that doesn't take place in there. I can show you in John chapter ten how Trinitarian theology is present because my he said my sheep hear my voice. I, I know. Don't know the Trinitarian theology. I give them. Theology. I'm trying to give I you an answer. The two, the answer. Trinitarian theology. Oh my no, no, no. I didn't ask you. You're not answering my question. My question is two things. I know. I'm One funny. was given, meaning at some point in time. At some point in time, things were given to the sun. Number two, the sun, you believe that the sun already created it. So he doesn't need to take it from anybody because it really belongs to him. Right? Hey, can I speak now? 
Now you okay. can speak and address my points. I don't want you to talk about, yes. you know, in the sky order, is blue, the green, yeah. the glass is blue. Yeah, but you gave me a question that required two months, so I'm trying to answer your question, so please let me answer your question, all right? We don't believe that no, the father... Okay. Uh, we don't believe the father generated the son. If we, if the father generated the son, that means the son came to exist at one point. We believe the father eternally generated the son and he, he eternally loved the son, meaning he eternally gave the things that belong to him, which is his dominion and his kingdom. And another thing about being given a kingdom, at one point, you know, the kingdom of God, the saints in heaven didn't exist yet. So in some point, at some point, in some, in some way, you can say that the saints and the kingdom were given to him because the kingdom at one point did come to exist. But in John chapter 10, verse 27 through 30, I, this gives you kind of context of the Trinitarian theology where the father has primacy in the triune Godhead. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of their father's hand. I and the father are one. So when you exegete all of scripture together, you see how the father eternally gives and eternally loves in this divine sonship. Nice. So you, when you mean, what you really mean is when you preach everything and have to Watch this, uh, Matthew. What's that? Matthew, so now this is a problem. You know what? One, he didn't answer my second question. Why does he need to be given anything that already belongs to him? But well, I'll just, I'll just brush that aside. But that's a problem because now he has to believe that the kingdom eternally existed for the Father to eternally give him. Did the kingdom said, eternally exist? That I said the kingdom at one point came to exist. I literally said that. Max, so when it came to exist, then the Father gave it to him, right? The Father eternally gifts to the Son what belongs to him. And by the way, there was a so he was given him nothing. So basically, eternally, he was giving him nothing. He was giving him nothing because it didn't exist. The kingdom of heaven Boom. in the old covenant sense is not the same as the new covenant kingdom. And that's why Jesus said what he said in Mark chapter 14. I didn't ask you that. No, no, no. I didn't understand. I'm asking about the given statement, right? If the Father eternally given something to the Son, then that, that entails that that thing eternally existed. You don't believe that the kingdom eternally existed, right? It was come to a point in time where it eternally came to be for the Father, where, where it came to be, sorry, for the Father to give it to the Son. Otherwise, the Father was eternally given him nothing. Being given, yeah, bro, yeah. take it away, man. My uh, uh, Acts, I can go back to seventeen three because, like I said, it was... hold on, we're done with this. John seventeen three time. Okay, uh, according to John seventeen three, who is the only true God? Well, if, if Jesus, I'll, I'll come back to to Daniel seven in a little bit because I want to wrestle with that one a little bit. But in here's, in the, John... here's the issue. Here's the issue, right? You are presupposing that Daniel seven right it makes jesus god right makes him makes him god gives him divinity right now here's another thing if you're going to sit there and presuppose it makes him god and even if some alternate universe right i was to grant you this right john 17 3 would still contradict him being god do you want me to show you why and how if jesus is talking about the father in john 17 3 what is he supposed to say is he supposed to say the the one untrue god he's okay. he, let me ask you this. He wouldn't say that the Father is not the true God. Okay, so is, he doesn't say he's the true God. He says he's the what true God? The one true God. But it, what, no, what, no, no, don't take a word out. Don't, don't take a word out. What does it say? So that they may know you the what true God? The only, the oh, only true oh, God. Look that part out, the only. What does only mean? Only meaning one. No, only does not mean one. One does not mean only. I'm going to give you the definition of only. I put I pull it up for people, okay? Uh, let me scroll all the way up. So only, right? First and foremost, it's a word of negation. Do you want, you know what negation means? Can you can you give me your definition? Negation is something that negates anything other than the subject being talk, talk, spoken about. So it, it's an adverb. It's a word of negation, right? And no one or nothing more besides solely and exclusively so meaning no one and nothing more than the father solely and exclusively the father negating anything other than the father or anyone other than the father is the son the father no he is not the father but okay, we believe thank God you is, is the holy is the holy spirit the father no okay, <laughs> i'm not okay, so i'm not a one that's no okay, point of wasting your time with those okay, questions thank you thank you okay so is the is the son the true god 
The sun, it's the sun shares hypostatic. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking divinity is, with, is, is, is the sun the true God? The sun is also the only true God in oh, sense. Okay, okay. So if, I, if I say, you know, that's a contradiction to what the word only means because no, I it's not because Jesus is the visible image of the invisible Father. Watch this. Watch this. Acts is is only a word of negation. Yes or no? With your definition, you are. No, this you is, are, this is the definition outside. of only. This isn't a subjective definition. This you are is going outside of what could be trinitarianly no, defined. No, Acts, Acts, Acts. What is a word of negation? Well, let's see if you were listening to me. What's a word of negation? Define it again. I want to. It's something that negates anything other than the person or subject being spoken of, which in this uh, this instance is is the father. Is the son the father? No, the son is not hey, the father. It's a distinct person, but shares. Hey, but shares essence with the father. But is the son? It's addressing not the essence. It's addressing the father. The father is not the essence. The father. We're addressing the personhood. This is personhood. If, when he's saying father, is he addressing personhood? Person, no, he, personhood he's as in to the father. What I'm asking you, is he addressing the personhood, the first person of the Trinity, the father? Yes or no? He share. He's talking about the well, one, well, the well, one well, God well, who shares. Well, is he, who is yes or no? Me. Yes or no? Again, yes or no? Is he addressing the first person of the Trinity? Yes or no? First person of the Trinity does not exclude himself acts, to acts 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 for, for the last time He's yes a, okay. or no is he addressing the first person of the trinity yes or no does does, does jesus exclude acts, exclude himself out of the definition of john 17 3. i'm gonna keep doing this i'm just gonna keep doing this again is he addressing the first person of the trinity yes or no he's addressing the one true god who is triune oh wait a minute is the father triune the god is triune and the, is father, the father is the first speaking person to of the, the god father god. is the father triune the Father is the first person of the Godhead. Is, oh, okay. So now you want to act like an intellectual. Thank you. So is he addressing? So are you gonna? You either say is the Father is triune, or he's addressing the first person of the Trinity. Which is it? He's saying he's saying God is triune because the Wait Father a minute. is okay, God. So he's saying so that they may know you, and he's speaking to the Father. So you is the Father, the only true God, and you're saying he's talking to the only triune God. Is the Father triune? The father is not triune, dude. Thank you. So, so, so get, so get rid of this whole. He's speaking to this triune. I'm already trying to explain to you that the father, that the son shares the same essence with the father. So, by, the by, son, the okay. father. When Jesus Christ is talking about the father, he's not going to say that they may worship you, the only one false god. He's saying that they may worship oh, you, the only so one this is, true so god. So, this is you casually digging yourself in a deeper grave. What I'm going to ask you this again. What is a word of negation? Dude, I'm not playing this game with you. Because I'm no, he, I'm, I'm, no, you he, know why? I'm Jesus asking, is not going to call stop, 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 the Father stop, stop, stop. the one false I, God. I'm, I'm this close to dropping you. Why? Because I explained it. Hold on, Rodea, one second. I've explained it to you twice, and if you can't tell me back, it shows that you're not even listening. And there's no point in having a conversation with you. So again, what is word? Of, what is word of negation? What does it mean? Tell me. If not, I'm going to drop you because you're not listening. One word without nuance. It does it. Does it not mean to negate anything other than the person or subject be, uh, being spoken of? Like the, I said, word, the words that Jesus used in John seventeen three does not bar him from sharing essence with the Father. Does it? Hey, let me ask you this: Does does Jesus's words in John seventeen three bar him from sharing essence with the Father? Yes or no? I'll tell you what: the Son is not the Father, correct? Yeah, but answer oh, my perfect. answer the my son, question. We believe that. No, because the, well, answer your question. You haven't even answered mine. Matter of fact, it took ten. We're ten let me see. 10 minutes for you to sit there and, 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 and even give me a, co a co cooperate with what we're going. Hey, and you Matthew. still haven't answered the question. So, you still so haven't answered so my question. Matthew, are you you're telling me, are you Matthew, Matthew, if the Father is not triune, are you telling me that Jesus said that they more worship only you, the not triune God, and know that the Son is the one you have sent? Are you speaking to me? Are you speaking to me or Matthew? Bro, you think? No, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to both of you. Man. So did Jesus say you that they may worship you, the not triune God, the only true not triune God? Look, the words that Jesus spoke in John seventeen three do not do not bar from Jesus sharing essence with the Father. Because like to when he's speaking, to you why seventeen three refutes the entire thing? I'm going to just not. You can nod your head, say yes or no. Okay. Only as a word of negation, yes or no? They may know. They may know you, the only true God. The word Jesus only. Christ, whom you have sent. Again, waffling. The word only is a word of negation, yes or no? 
Negation meaning word without nuance. Meaning it negates anything other than the subject being spoken about. For example, solely and exclusively, no one more than, and nothing more than who is being spoken about. I'm going to read you the definition for the second time. It's an adverb, a word of negation, meaning it negates uh, it negates anything other than the person being spoken about. And no one or nothing more besides, solely or exclusively. So... If the Father is the only true God, and the Son is not the Father, and the Holy Spirit is not the Father, therefore they are not the true God, because the Father is the only true God. For example, Acts, if I tell you out of Captain Rodeo, Acts, and Jim, and me, I am the only one wearing a hat. That negates any of you guys from wearing a hat, correct? Correct? Correct in that sense, thank but you. again. No, 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 thank you, thank you. And now the moment I say Axe is also wearing a hat, oh, I'm no longer the only one wearing a hat, correct? The thing is, Jesus Christ at this correct. point. Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm like correct. three of us are separate, three different beings. Axe, correct? I think, I think if you forgetting that part, if that makes sense. Oh, you have another person with you? I'm confused. Who's speaking? Oh, it was me, it was me. Okay, so act correct. You, are you following with what I'm saying? Yes, but it's not the same example um, yo, because Jim, we, are, Jim, 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 we three of us are jump, three you, different you, beings. You can jump in. Makes a, sense. You can jump in in a second. Hold on one second. Okay, Axe, Did what I say make sense? If I tell you, out of everybody on this panel, including myself, I'm the only one wearing a hat, that would negate Captain Rodeo, Axe, and Jim from wearing a hat. Yes or no? Yeah, but you're speaking of that in a you. in a person yes who no, just yes or no. All I no, the thing is, no. me me and you are two different beings. The father and the son are two different persons. Oh, bro, you're like, what are you talking about? That's not what I'm. You you say yes, and then you like just yes or no. You said yes, okay. Now, if I say I'm the only one wearing a hat, right? But you're also wearing a hat. Am I the only one that's wearing a hat? No, I'm no longer the only one wearing a hat. Correct. This goes back to basic Trinitarian doctrine that because we, we, that like, would we would say we would say that the Father is the only true God, but again, that doesn't that doesn't bar. It doesn't Jesus negate the Son. Share, it doesn't negate does, the Son. That doesn't bar Jesus sharing co-equal with so, the with the Father. The Father being the only true God does not negate the Son. It does not. No. It doesn't negate the Son. So the word "only" being a word of negation, being used, does not negate. So a, a negation doesn't uh, doesn't negate the Son. The word of a, a word of a negation doesn't negate. Yes, because we, we would like because we would say we we only believe in one God, and the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. We, we yeah, we believe in one God. I'm gonna so ask really, one more time. Acts. Does a word does does a word of negation does something of a word of negation negate something? Yes or no? Dude, I think we're just gonna go in circles, man. So I don't. No, 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 no. Because you're being intellectually dishonest. Pull up a dictionary. I'm not. Right? If you we're, we're applying to we're not we're using subjective I'm terms. To we're, we're just, using what we're going to go to definitions instead of you presupposing things. Now I bring you a clear verse that shows you, hey, you understand the son is not the father, but the father is the only true God. The word only is a word of negation, meaning it negates everything. It negates anything other than the father. The son is not the father. So you said, but it doesn't negate the son, but the son is not the see, father. See, the look, 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 look. Even by definition of the Trinity, it says three distinct persons, but not separate. So you can't really sort of pick and choose saying this and that sort of thing okay, like you're forgetting that it's one being so that yeah, yeah, verse yeah. is talking sure. about there is no god beside like when it says that it's not really negating the whole part if that makes sense i i, I think like you can't use the examples he gave us because we don't really fit the examples of trinity jim is the son the father in what says? Um, it, is the, the same the being. Does is that make sense? The in personhood, in personhood, is the son the in, father? In personhood, no. Okay, perfect. Is Jesus speaking to the personhood of the Father in John seventeen three? I mean, technically, yes, he is praying yeah, to God, yes, like, the Father. The personhood of the Father, the only true God. Yes or no? What? Is he calling the person, the Father, the only true God in John seventeen three? Yes or no? Is he, is he calling the Father like? In, in, in person? God, no. Yeah. Okay, is the son the father? In, in terms of person? No. Yes, in terms of person, because he's speaking to the person. No. Okay, perfect. Son's not the father, so he's not the true God, because the father is the what? Only true God. Is the Holy Spirit the father? Uh, no, but okay, thank it you. is so, from the, the father. Holy, so therefore, the Holy Spirit is not the true God, because the father is the only what? True God.
if the Father is the only true God, and the Son is also the true God, and the Holy Spirit is also the true God, then the Father is no longer the only true God, because that would negate the Son and the Holy Spirit, and if they're, if they're included, it doesn't negate them. Again, this goes back to simple English, only is a word of negation. And if we're speaking to, if he's speaking to the person out of the Father, right? Hold as on. the only true how God, can, the Son is not the Father. How can he be a father if he doesn't have a son? Oh my God, please, bro. Is, is, stop going to this other crap. Like, what are you told? You're, not, you're like a pothead that sits there and smokes and starts like conspiracies and shit about things in space. Bro, can we just like go back to what we're talking about? Oh, it's a genuine question. Like, so I'm just curious. I'm actually curious on what your thoughts are on that. I'm just genuinely curious. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah 56, Isaiah 56, 5 talks about people being called sons and daughters before big whoop. Now let's go back to 17. Yeah, but, 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 but he, wait, what if he's an eternally a father though? Like what if he's always been a father? He can't be. Hebrews. <laughs> Hebrews. Hebrews 5, 6. Hebrews, Hebrews 1, 5 and Hebrews 5, 5 st uh, stops the belief of Father being eternal. Hebrews 5, 5. Let me pull Rodeo, ah, he said you're a mic or something's going on with mic. Yeah. You, wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum Matthew. Wa alaikum salam. I missed you guys. Well, I missed you guys. Long time, bro. I know. It's been a month. You said, well, you, said, you, said, you said Hebrews 5 5. Rodeo, drop it. Okay. I'm going to drop you a request right now to come back. I'll just request them. Hebrews 1 5. Hebrews 5 5. Salam alaikum. It says. Welcome, Salam. Turn this to a gangster party real quick. <laughs> it says, Hebrews 1 5, Hebrews 5 5. The father says, Today I've become your father and you have become my son. What happened to the day before that? This means that G uh, God the Father was not eternally God the Father because God, uh, Jesus the Son, he never came until after that day. Today, the Hebrews 5, and the Hebrews 1, 5, let me pull it up. Hebrews 1, 5 and Hebrews 1, 5. Guys, respect. Very quickly, I X, I can I want... ask you a question? Hold, hold on, Amen, Amen. Before we even let him go to something else, right? I don't want to. I don't want to even give him any wiggle room because we're staying on seventeen three. Okay, I want to. Yeah, this this goes with that. Okay. This goes with that. Oh, my Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. What I'm about to ask you, I want you to think about it and then answer it. Okay, because what you say will be held against you. Okay. All right, I'm listening. Is Jesus the only God in the Bible? This this is a this is a question that is just not with. It's an unfair question. It's not an accurate. No, question. no, I it's just, a I fair disagree question. With the question. It's a fair question because you believe Jesus is one God. So is Jesus the one God in the Bible? Yes or no? You already know what I'm going to say to this. So I don't even. Can know you please answer it. the question? It's a simple yeah, yes I'll, or no. In, no, it's in not the Quran, simple. Allah is the only God in the Quran. Is no, Jesus it, the only God in the Bible? We, we believe that one God is in the Bible who is distinct in three Is, is Jesus persons. the only God in the Bible? Yes or no? Just answer it. We believe that Jesus is the second distinct person is of the Is Jesus the only God in the Bible? Yes or no? All right. I'm not going to play this game. I you think can't answer a simple scared. question, bro. You can't answer I, a simple I question. Think, I mean, I think I'm, imagine I'm not answering that. that. Yeah, imagine, imagine, yeah, Matthew, imagine, imagine you can't answer that. Okay. Like if a person asks me, is no. Allah the only God in the because, Quran? No, because yes. you know what I'm going to answer. You know Trinitarian theology. Like I'm not going to. No, it's through. a simple question. But uh, let's let's leave him on this. Let's leave him on this. Amen. Yo, Axe, what does uh, what does only mean and neg uh, word of negation mean? Let's see if you were paying attention in class. Dude, we just did this for the past 20 minutes. And, and, you, and, it's, and every single time I recited it, you said, oh, I don't remember it. Tell me again. No, well, no. You're, you're, in gonna, you're in detention with Professor Bryant's right now, bro. What's, um, what does, uh, what's the word of negation? Jesus calling, G Jesus calling God the Father, the one true God, does not oh, negate. Let me, let me pull up a dictionary. Right uh, let no, me we're done. I'm not playing this negation. game. I'm going to look up word of negation. Uh, word of negation. Yeah, it doesn't say Jesus calling Father the only true God. It has nothing to do with this. It doesn't say that in the definition. I don't know. Maybe you guys updated it. But um, because you do that with the Bible. So what does it? Yeah, you guys um, have variances what, while your scholars admit it. What's what's what does word of negation mean? <sighs> Jesus Jesus shares. Divinity with the Look, Father. Father. Wow. 
676 people. Guys, listen to this. I've told him what a word of negation is four times, and now I ask him again, what does it mean? And I'm just further proving this guy does not pay attention to anything. You don't pay attention to a single thing. What does a word of negation mean? I've told you this four times. Well, it's getting frustrating because you're not listening. I might as well just talk to a brick wall, bro. What is a word of negation? Negation mean without nuance. Elaborate. Nuance meaning the sense of, I, I don't know, I, I wasn't even listening to what you said, to be honest, but. Get 